The worst circumstances often bring out the best in us. I find this true of the response of our community of learners to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our administrators, teachers, and staff mobilized in minutes to respond to school building closures and stay at home orders. You redesign how we deliver instruction to students and support school families, all while managing your own personal health and family caregiving concerns. I will tell you, I am one proud superintendent. We are fortunate that Lawrence Public Schools already had foundational work in place to support these changes as we navigate an uncharted territory. Thanks to our community's continued investments in schools, we had strengthened our technology infrastructure. Through our Learning Forward Future Ready initiative launched to address equitable access to technology, we had already provided one-to-one -one devices and internet hotspots to our students. Since 2012, the district has had a focus on supporting educators in blending the best of traditional teacher-directed instruction with online learning and personalized instruction to give students voice and choice in the path and pace of their learning. Our professional learning communities were already approaching challenges from a growth mindset and shifting from the old factory model of instruction, from sit and get and rote memorization to critical thinking, problem solving, and project-based learning. We were already stripping our strategic plan goals down to essential questions. What is it that we want our students to know and be able to do? We were already laser focused on building strong relationships. You know, what I continue to see during this public health crisis has truly helped carry me through it. Our schools have felt a tremendous groundswell of support from helping hands all across our community. Partners have asked, what do you need and what can we do to help? Thank you for your support. Our schools have been reminded of the critical role that parents play in their children's education and families have gained a greater appreciation of the value of their children's teachers. Leaders have emerged to make those tough decisions for the common good. Brave citizens all across our community are doing their part to make personal sacrifices to keep themselves and others safe and provide essential services. Celebrating these successes and the unfailing strength of our community does not negate the tremendous losses felt by our families who have lost loved ones, individuals who lost jobs, businesses that closed their doors, and all who are facing financial hardships. My heart goes out to those who are suffering. My thoughts are also with our students. They miss their baseball season, their spring concerts, class trips, and state competitions. Simply missing their ability to socialize with their friends in class at lunch and during after school activities is a huge loss. There is a special place in my heart for the senior class. And today I have good news for you. Thank you to all senior parents and seniors for completing our senior survey. We have listened to the wishes of our seniors and their parents and are preparing to celebrate the accomplishments of the mighty class of 2020 in a major way. Are you ready? Lawrence Virtual School will host its graduation at 1 p.m. July 11th in the Free State High Auditorium. Our other two high schools will share with their prospective school families special no contact ways that they will celebrate on their original graduation dates, which are May 19th and 20th. Free State High School, your graduation will be held at 8 a.m. July 18th in the Firebirds Campus Stadium. Lawrence High School, your graduation will follow at 10.30 a.m. July 18th in the Chesty Lions Campus Stadium. We will be announcing specific instructions in order to meet all health and safety requirements. This will include limiting the number of guests per graduate to meet physical distancing guidelines. In the event of rain on July 18th, we will host drive-through graduation parades. This was the second choice of our senior class. As you know, all plans are subject to change according to national, state, and local guidelines throughout this pandemic. Hosting our graduations will require us to move forward through the governor's phases on reopening Kansas. Moving through these phases depends on all of us. Please continue to stay home if you are sick or if you are a member of a high-risk group. Keep washing your hands and cleaning high-touch surfaces. Observe the six-foot physical distancing requirements. Gather only in groups of less than 10. Wear your mask or facial covering when you're around others. We cannot return to business as usual if we want to continue on the path to recovery. 
Join us in using the lessons learned during the past few months to emerge from these experiences better together.